Hey everybody, um, welcome back to Football Manager 2019. Um, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, I'm doing good. I thought I would um, just do like an update video for you on Football Manager because uh, I kind of was planning on doing a series, but then I kind of what I thought would actually be a little bit better way of doing things would be to. Um, uh, kind of do maybe some like update videos and chat and play off camera because otherwise you'd get you get like a hundred episode series and things like that it doesn't really work very well so this is kind of like an update video on, on the the Schalke save and then my new save because I'm going to explain a little bit about why I, I stopped playing the Schalke um Schalke save so I'm um, into my second season with Schalke um in uh the first season uh I don't know if I can kind of go back to it uh, I don't know how I do this. Is there some sort of like history <laughs> tab? History. Uh, okay. Well, anyway, so we finished second in the league. Um, I don't know if I can get the league up at any point because it was it was interesting. Basically, um, I'll go through. I won't search for ages trying to find it. The general gist of it was that uh, RB Leipzig won the league last season. Um, we were we did pretty well. If I go back to the uh, previous season, um, we went on a massive unbeaten run. Okay, so um, following, I guess the Freiburg defeat in the league there three one, which was around about September. Um, we were then unbeaten in the league uh, with a few draws, but. <clears throat> mostly unbeaten in the league you can see here all the way through to, up to Borussia Dortmund here 4-2 in uh, April we still lost <laughs> we still didn't win the league I only lost two games I lost three in the end because of the that, that one because I rested all my players for the, for the cup finals which we'll go into I lost three games and I l didn't win the league <laughs> RB Leipzig were incredible like they just won every game i couldn't stop them um i think i drew with them and i beat them as well in the league so i actually did beat them in the league but um they still went on and uh they still went on and won it i just, it was phenomenal i couldn't i just couldn't keep up with them uh it's, it's, i don't know it's the matter what i did just couldn't um just couldn't keep up with them it was, it was absolutely crazy. Uh, I think if I perhaps load uh, 30, yeah, there, no, not that one. Mm, I think these two, these ones, I was going to say maybe if I loaded one before, we'd be able to have a look at the league. Because it was interesting, I should I should really have done it, but I, I think I did record a video on it, but it didn't come out very well, so I, I scrapped it, but... Um, yeah, very very interesting uh, season, and as I said, I was really pleased with like how well we did. Um, we it did end up winning the European the, the Euro not the European Cup. We ended up winning the Europa C Cup or the Euro Cup as it's called in in uh, this and the German Cup as well. Um, the Euro Cup was really really interesting because um, we obviously got knocked out of the Champions League just though uh, I would say. Um, uh, okay, so this won't show me it because this is like, oh hang on, current season 2018-2019. Yeah, so you can see here, we ended up um, kind of losing it. We, we, has, we lost our first three games, then we won our last three games. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I was happy, to be fair, just to finish third to get into Europe Cup because I was like, I do think I, I, I was like, I think we could win that. Um, I looked at the other teams in there and I was like I, not that I don't think we could always lose to other teams in it but I was like fairly confident we, we could go on and, and do something in there we um, when we were knocked out we had Rangers you can see we won 2-1 then we won 9-0 9-0 against Rangers I've never seen a team play so badly uh, 26 shots 14 on target um, I've never seen a team play so badly in my life they they were awful, um, yeah. Just 
just phenomenally bad. And uh, we went through, and then uh, in the Euro Cup, we came up against PSV, beat them 2-1, 2-1, fairly comfortable. Then we came up against RB Leipzig, the old enemy. We lost in the first leg to them 1-0, and I was like, oh, God, this is this where we go out. I was like, well, quarterfinals is not a disgrace, but it's not a very good season. I was thinking, like, if they carry on, then we could focus on the league and potentially go on from there. Um, But then the second leg, we comfortably, comfortably beat them 3-0, and that was the uh, weird like thing that happened because then in the semi-final I played Roma and um, we lost 1-0 again to them and I was like oh and then beat them 5-1 in the home leg I was like what? I don't even understand this um, it was crazy uh, we beat Hamburg and uh, we we played also like we played Dortmund in the, in the quarterfinal I wouldn't say comfortably beat them but we got through as I said we lost to them in the league as well, uh, away 4-2. They they were pretty good. They brought um, Timo Werner from RB Leipzig. That's the other weird thing. They brought Timo Werner like in the January transfer window. And I thought, oh, that's going to slow down Leipzig because he was like their top goal scorer. Yeah, it didn't. <laughs> he still just went on and won the league. Um, Bruce, um, Bayern Munich, if you want to know, were nowhere. They were like fourth or something, I think, in, in the end. Um, it was a weird season, really weird season. Um so yeah, just kind of crazy. And then in the final of the uh, Euro Cup, we played young boys, comfortably beat them 3-1. We beat Jan Regensburg, who played in the Bundesliga 2 in the German Cup final. I don't know if we even played a uh, like a Bundesliga 1 side in, in the Cup. It was weird. So I was kind of happy. We finished second in the league. We won two Cups. Um, I was like, mm, yeah, that's that's not bad, you know, going on to the next season see who we can buy um, transfers in at the beginning of the season um, got in where do we go transfer history there we go uh, so this season we lost Naldo who, who wanted to go back to Brazil I guess uh, we sold Schroff to Stoke for 10 mil got rid of Insua Tyler Adams um, I sold him because I, on paper he doesn't look that good he actually played very very well for us but uh, I wasn't that convinced by him so I sold him Simi um, who had a really good season for us 10 goals 23 games average rating of 7.08 uh, and if you if you look like in the Europe, Europa Cup 8 goals in 7 games right 4 substitute appearances so overall 20 goals in about 38 games it's really good like that's very good but I uh, just brought better players, so I sold him. <laughs> um, Ruzio wanted to go, and then, yeah, pretty much like loans and other small bits and bobs. As to who we brought in, I brought in Andres, Andres Pereira from Man United. Um, sit as a playmaker in the middle of the field, very good young player, very, very good. Um, we brought in Ginter, centre-back, very good centre-back as well. German as well, because I... There's not many German players. We'll talk about that in a minute. But there aren't that many German players to buy. The ones who are massively expensive. Um, way worse than like... People bemoan the um, Premier League for not having like English players you can buy. But like there's no German players. Uh, but our Mensa I got for 2.8 million from um, Atletico Madrid. I thought it was a bargain. So I picked him up as a backup. Um... Victor Nelson, who I'd wanted for a while, centre back, very very good young player, centre back. Um, Rogerio, I got as a kind of backup left wing back. Erling Haaland, I got as a, a very very good, very good young striker. Um, he has already scored a goal for us. Um, Ryan Fredericks, I brought as a kind of backup. They don't rate him, but I think he's actually all right personally. Um, I like him because he had crossing, dribbling and, and pacey and that's what I want for my wing backs um, and then just I guess a couple of other like players I didn't really buy that much, didn't have that mu- that high a uh, transfer budget I need like 40 million um, which you might think oh, that's a lot of money, it's not that much really is it um, but yeah but then um, so I've played uh, some friendlies, I've played a few games in the league, I lost a couple I lost one, sorry, it's not this season. Did I have a lost in the league? No, I have lost in the league. I've only played two games. I thought I had played that many. 
German Cup we won 7-0, Super Cup we won um, and the, we won on penalties against RB Leipzig in the Super Cup as well, lost to Zenit weirdly there but um, I kind of fell out of love with the German League a little bit because the one thing which really annoyed me about it is the German team still isn't set up properly and that really annoyed me because I was like well you can't even bring through like a young German player or anything like that, they're never going to play I know that there is things you can do to um, fix that. Oh yeah, this is my guy as well, young young lad. Um, but it kind of put me off a little bit, so I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to finish up that save there. We played the season, it was good, um, yeah, we won the Euro Cup and did all that thing. And then I thought, well, what I want to do is I want to try and bring through a young um, team, like... Uh, not a young team, but like a, a lower league team, and then bring them up through the leagues. I, I did it before a few years ago with um, Lewis, um, who were in like the Vanarama South or something like that. It was an epic one. I, I managed to get them into the Premier League uh, after many, many seasons. Um, but it was cool, and I really enjoyed building it up and, and building the club up. And um, the uh, team I decided to do it with was Forest Green. Um, I'm actually going to load up a slightly older save if I've got one. I don't think I have though. Uh, is this my forest green one? It is. It's on the 13th of July. Why is that saying 20th? Oh, that's what the date is. Idiot. Yeah, okay. Let's load up um, one of these rather than my current one because then we can um, have a look at the actual league table how we did because it was very interesting so um the one thing i will say if you if you are kind of new to football manager i i would recommend um actually did we go back far enough to uh i don't think we did let's see if we can if we have a load i should i should just save it on a at the back end of the season did we load it up on the 13th of July? Yeah, we did, yeah. Okay. So we might as well just load back into the current one. <laughs> um, one thing I will say is, like, start off in the lower leagues. You might think that that's kind of weird. But start off in the lower leagues because, tactically, your opponents are not as good. So if you can come across a tactic that works for you, like, you, you, you my advice, if you start off in the lower leagues, is get in some... Uh, young players definitely you ha you can only really get young players you need to have a couple of like older players to provide um, some uh, like influence some stability some uh, leadership in your team and get good loan players like loan players are your lifeblood you can play five loan players in a team um, you can have you can loan more than that but you can play five um, and just get in as many as you can, really, in a way. Like, not that many if you're not going to play them all, but get in, like, at least six or seven, and then you can kind of rotate them a little bit because you're not going to really have a transfer budget of any sort. Your wage budget, you won't pay anything for those loan players if you're getting them from, like, Championship or Premier League clubs. Um, they won't charge you any wages, so that will keep the cost down. And um, the other thing about the uh, starting, so Forest Green started in League 2. I got promoted I don't think I'm spoiling anything by telling you that. Um, the squad I inherited was okay. Um, they weren't. They finished twenty first, I think, the season before. So they they weren't very uh, kind of um, weren't fancied, shall we say, to to win. Yeah, they finished twenty first. We finished first. Uh, we won the league. Um, and weirdly, we won. I won the league so, so easily. I finished up 39 points ahead <laughs> of my nearest rival. I lost two games all season. Yeovil 3-0 and Crawley 3-1. And I stopped caring because we'd won the league, I think, it, there. We won the league there. Not not like, oh, you got promoted there. No, after that, the Colchester 3-0, we already won the league. And I stopped caring. And we still just carried on winning. Um, so, yeah, it was it was weird. We just, uh, we lost Blackburn and Carabao Cup. I had a good FA Cup run, um, 
we got all the way to the fourth round, starting off in the first round. We drew with Norwich 0 0, and then in the return leg against Norwich, we lost on penalties. We scored in extra time, and I thought we were going to do it, and then we just lost to them. I was gutted. I was absolutely gutted. Um, so, um, I don't know if there's like a, is there like a club history? Uh, a best, the best 11 I had. So, um, the the one player, I, I guess, who I took on was George Williams, who is clearly not a League 2 player. He's way above that, but for some reason he's at Forest Green, and he's very good. Liam Nash I picked up for a very cheap price. Um, he did all right, 12 goals up front. I struggled striker-wise most of the season. Um, I brought Declan McManus in the January transfer window. He did all right as well. Um, Dwight McNeil was on loan from Burnley top goal scorer can't really argue with that technically best player um Khalid Addo I got on a free young uh kind of attacking midfielder Jonathan Douglas I got on a free he was the older guy he's actually retired now he was 36 um he had good leadership and, and stuff like that and he was like the captain so I wanted someone in midfield Kean Flanagan did very well for us in midfield he played like an attacking midfielder role Joseph Mills was phenomenal for us all season he was like our player of the season last last year um he's 7.5 one got 12 assists in the league four goals he was phenomenal um really really good uh he's still being good this season so kind of recommend him as a stealth buy Rashawn williams i got from man united on loan uh very good ferrand rawson we already had so he's a good player neem shepherd was already there as well good good right back for league two and we had a goalkeeper on loan from Brighton, Robert Sanchez. Um, I also picked up Sean Goss in the um, transfer window. Very, very good, actually. I was surprised I could get him. I only got him on loan. Um, and then a few other players I kind of had or picked up on freeze and things like that. So nothing like too special there, tactic-wise. Um, this, I think, was where it worked so well. So we played um, a very possession-based football. I haven't really changed the way it works other than this position here changes a bit and, and these kind of three positions change but otherwise it don't really change so um we play with um fairly wide work into the box play out of defense focus play down the wings because i have very good wingers i i do sometimes change that if it's not working short passing low tempo um yeah and then in transition counter press so it, it's a very pressing uh one distributed to the center backs and then have a high defensive line. So it's, it's all about pressing and getting possession. And most of our games will have between 57 to 65% possession. If we're, we can go a little bit high if we're really bad at a side. Um, and we did really bad some sides last season. Um, but um, yeah, so it seems to work. So we the, the wingers are, are kind of good. I've literally changed nearly my entire team this season. And that's something to think about as well in the lower leagues is you, if you get promoted, like your League 2 team or your League 1 team, when you get up to that high league, whether it's Championship, League 1, or even from the Championship to the Premier League, that team's not good enough. Like, I promise you, it's not good enough. I've got... How many players here are still from my last season? Mills, um, Shepard, and then Rawson. I've got McGinley in, I think, because Rawson got injured. I think that was why. There's like three players from a team last season. And you might think, oh, yeah, but you shouldn't change that many players. And I would say you don't have a choice. You have to change that many players because um, otherwise, you, you your players are just not good enough. And you can get once you go from say League Two to League One or League One to Championship, you can get better loan players in as well. So this year I managed to get in uh, Felipe Sandler from Man City, who's very good centre back. Um, Rian Brewster, uh, who's very good kind of right winger slash striker for from Liverpool uh, Daniel Barzla from Newcastle who's a kind of Turkish midfielder we got Zhang Zhuing a Chinese striker from West Brom who I actually like quite a lot uh, I think he's very good um, striker is, is a very important position because it scores your goals <laughs> I don't think I probably need to say that do I but um, no it is it is uh, it is imperative that you try to get the best striker you can possibly get 
um, because otherwise you will struggle. Like I learned that last season. I, I didn't have as good a striker as I could have got, and I struggled a little. Well, I didn't really struggle. I won the league by 39 points, but I was always like, some of those games that I had were like 1-0, and I was like, we should have been scoring like three or four. We sh- really should have. Um, I wish I could show you the league. I should have should have stopped, but I was a bit obsessed. I just carried on. Um, there isn't a way to get a history, is there? No, I don't think so. Um, oh, hang on. I'll tell you what we can do. We can do... Uh, can we go to League 2? No. <laughs> uh, how do I get to the competition? League 2. Here we go. Here we go. I knew how to do that, really. If we look at the history... So I had 120 points in my season. I swear to God, I did not even cheat once. Okay, I know people were like, oh, reload, whatever. I didn't even need to, guys. I was, By the end of it, I didn't even care. I was just like, let's just play to come and get to the end of the season, get to the end of the season. I was just winning. We lost two games in the season. Um, we won uh, 38 games. <laughs> so ridiculous. Um uh, what else did we have? We, had, we won 15 in a row. Um, we did get the record for without losing, though, which was a shame. That was a real shame. And we didn't get, like, most team goals or anything like that. I don't think we got to 100 goals um, on there. So, yeah. We we did. We got 100 goals. Oh, awesome. Okay. I didn't realise that, actually. That's really cool. I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Um, so now I'm in League One. We've had a decent start, actually. Um, we've won our first two games I would say wouldn't say comfortably but we won our first two games the Bolton one I was impressive I was also really happy because George Williams went to Bolton so I didn't really have a choice like they came in they came in with a £400,000 bid he was worth like 250000 at my club and I, and I thought okay well what's going to happen is if I turn down this offer he's going to get asked about it and be like oh, I wanted to go to a bigger club blah 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 I think he would have I think he does like me um, but I think he would have done that anyway and I was like well you know what I'd sell him for 750,000 because if I can sell him for 750,000 I already had a replacement lined up who I'll show you in a sec and um, and I knew I could get them for about 150,000 so I was like so kind of from a business sense it makes sense like the fans aren't very happy with me but and then we played them, and look, he played a 5.9. <laughs> and we smashed him. So the guy who I lined up to replace him is this guy, Neil Ferrugia, who came from the University College Dublin, and we brought him for 125000 He had a couple of very good seasons with them, um, or a season, then a season and a half, I guess. Um, and he's 19. He look, he's looking very, very good. Um, very, very good. So um, I'm kind of ha- very happy with that, definitely. Um, in there so I'm happy with the squad I've got I think I can get promoted again it's going to be a tough season from my days with uh, Lewis I found that getting up and up until the championship is fairly easy like if you can get some good loan players they'll carry you through but once you get to a championship like the standard there goes up a lot and you have to think a lot more about tactics like I probably only had to change my tactics like three or four times in the season maybe like move a player down there um, sorry, move a player down like there, you know, do something like that, switch up a tiny little bit when it wasn't working, change little bits. When I get to the championship, I'll actually have to really think about, um, you know, what I'm doing and what my how my opponent's playing and have, I only have what one tactic, I'll have to have like different tactics to kind of cope with that and it'll be a real slog uh, in the championship and probably will take me more than one season, but um what I'll probably do is kind of pop back in at the end of the season, see how we do um, on there. Um, financially wise as well, we're not the richest club in the world. Um, you can see my transfer budget was 46000 Um I got a little bit more because um, of the uh, transfer out of George Williams for 750000 potentially going to 850000 Look at all the players I brought as well. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's ridiculous. If I only spent 125,000, and that was on one player, and this guy cost me 2,000. Um, because I had to replace my entire under 23 side. Like my, I think this entire under 23 side is brand new players. Um, because I was like, my under 23s were terrible. Like we have terrible youth facilities, terrible. Um, and the, the players coming through are awful. So, and I was like, well, it's going to be important for me to bring through young players because um, I'm not going to have a transfer budget to be able to go out there and be like, okay, I'm going to have, you know, 10 million in a championship. I can go out there and buy some really good players and move on. I'm going to probably have like 500,000. And it doesn't get you a lot, trust me. Um, so I was like, I'm going to have to look. So I've just been trying to pick, um, pick up, you know, a lot of talented youngsters who have been dropped off by bigger clubs, whether that's clubs like um, Arsenal, I think this guy was Chelsea. Um, yeah, those sort of players I think this guy was uh, Tottenham. And yeah, on paper they don't look that good, but if we can get them out on loan, get them playing some football, um, you know, build them up, maybe give them the occasional run out. Um, also, I'm, I'm taking a, a more of a um, look at the under twenty three. Uh, fixtures as well and taking over a few of them as well to to play to make sure that they're playing well I guess and if we can bring through a few of these like worst case scenario if we can sell them on for a little bit of cash that would be good um, but if not then you know that's the way it goes I guess um, I can't believe they got this guy for free by the way it's like worth 3 point eight million. it's really good I couldn't have gotten that. The wages are another thing as well because there were a couple of players I really wanted. Um, Sully Kaikai from Crystal Palace was talking to me, but he wanted like 15,000. Like, I can only. Like, league one. I, the, the max I've got a player on is 5,000, and that's like one player. Everyone else is like on 2,000. And who else was it? Oh, yeah, Z Zelim. Gideon Zelim, I think it is from Arsenal. He talked to me as well. He wanted like 15,000. So I was like. Man, if I had the money, um, where's my shortlist? There it is. If I had the money, man, oh man, I could. Uh, yeah, Gideon, he still hasn't found anyone, and he's very good. Like, League One level, he's very good. He would potentially go all the way to the Premier League if I wanted to. No one else is interested in him, so I'm going to go back in for him and hopefully try and pick him up. Um, with like slightly cheaper uh, wages, if if you know he might get bored eventually, is what I'm hoping. Uh, I think that Sally Kai Kai, yeah, he went to Ipswich um, again, very good. And how is he only? On, is this is what I don't understand. It would come to me, he wanted fifteen thousand. There, two point one k. What are you gonna do? Anyway, um, I guess maybe I don't know. That's annoying because <laughs> I really wanted him. He would have been really good. Um, as it is, I'm kind of happy. You have to watch out a little bit on these um, League One fixtures because you have to have at least seven players trained by a club in England. I actually have quite a few foreign players, as you can see. Um, so I actually struggle a little bit with that. I'm, I'm okay. I'm at the limit, I'd say. Um, one player trained by the club, which we didn't have anybody in our first team when I took over who was trained by the club. So I've got this younger kid here, Sam Hendy, who is rubbish, but he has to sit on my subs bench like the entire season because um, otherwise I I can't play a game. Um, no more than five players. Players under free can be registered any time, so you can always sign like free transfers and things like that. Which is quite good in a way. Um, yeah. So. I'm actually really enjoying it. As I said, the the one thing which we're going to really struggle with, though, is the facilities because um, our facilities are terrible here. Um, we only have a 5,000 capacity stadium, of which 2,000 is seated. Uh, it's not good. Um, we actually have a good pitch. We have some average training facilities, but some real basic youth facilities and stuff like that. So, not good. Um, and actually, they're pretty local to me as well, actually, which also kind of worked in my uh, one of the reasons why I chose Forest Green as well. So, yeah, so that's kind of uh, it, I guess. Uh, 
that's it, I think, um, to go through uh, in there. I don't think there's anything else. Like, everyone's pretty happy with me, obviously, because we won the league by just such a massive margin, um, which was, it was re- honestly ridiculous how much we won the league by. Um, I, uh, most of the season, I was like 10 points ahead, and I was like, okay, but then as we got to the second, like the, the latter half of the season, like, everyone just kept losing, and we, we just kept winning. And I've never won a league by like 6,000. We're actually over our budget here. Whoops. Whoops. Um, yeah, I've never won a league by like 6,000. Uh, 6,000. What am I talking about? By 39 points. That, that is phenomenal. So yeah, looking forward to this season. I think we've got a squad here which, which can get up. Very young average age, as you can kind of see here. But um, yeah, I don't really have a choice because I can't afford that many like high wages for players. I have a few kind of like you need a few like elder statesmen to just you know, you know, especially in those bigger matches as well, just to give you that kind of purpose. But like otherwise, you have to rely on some like younger um, talent to go through. So yeah, I um, guess this is a kind of a look through and um, just give you an update on where we're going with it. I'll probably pop back in eventually when I get to the end of this season, where however long that'll take me. Um, I think there's l- is there less? You, no, there's still forty six. <laughs> forty six games is compared to the thirty eight the Premier League is like oh Jesus. And then also there's a lot less in the um, Bundesliga where I played as well. So yeah, we'll see anyway. But thanks for watching, guys. As always, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.